G'day, g'day, g'day. How's everybody? Bonjour. Hola. Guten Tag. Let me think if I can think of any. Zdravstvuče. That's Russian. Dobar dan. That's uh, Serbian, Croatian. Um, Dobri den. That's Polish. Oh, can I think of any? Um, I used to know a Chinese. Hello. Ah, forget now. Now, now. Anyhow. <laughs> I thought I'd show off a little bit. I used to have to, um, well, I didn't have to, but as uh, part of my, you know, my job as a HK coordinator, I always used to come up with um, different kinds of um, activities for for us all to, and the girls to do with, girls and guys to, to do with the oldies. And we used to have multicultural days so we could um, really learn about other cultures and just embrace that. And, um, and they loved it, you know, they each had an opportunity to shine and to show off their, you know, their culture because as you know Australia is a multicultural country and there's so many of us here um, from from other countries so it's good so I learned quite a, a bit now um, I am I've just mixed my resin and that's ready to go but what I've got here is I'm so excited and um, I've got some new new colors it's actually a whole new line um, it's not available yet, I'm sorry, but it will be available by, or they will be available by by the end of next week. Fingers crossed, okay? Um, but look at this color. How gorgeous is that? So, I am, um, these, so these, um, they're going to be pearl colors. So, because you can see how beautiful and pearly they, they look. Where's another stirry stick? Oh my goodness. Here it is. Um, and some of them are going to be metallic. And some of them are going to be real shimmery type paste. So look out. So, you know, once I have them launched. Look at this one. Once I have them launched, you will be able to refer to this video and see, you know, how, how to use them and what they do and all that. So, so, you know, it's going to be all great. Okay, so what I have here, it, this is just um, an MDF, co uh, not a coaster, it's an MDF um, placemat. It's already got some sort of a design on it. Um, and it's got, I've taped all around there really well because I seem to make a mess quite a bit. That's just cork. You can even take that off. You can. It comes off like if you scrape it, it'll come off. But I don't bother with it. So that's what I'm going to be working on now. Um, I've got quite a few paintings up for sale, and uh, this placemat will be up for sale. So I was thinking. Because like I, I don't really have time to advertise and, and sell my paintings and I want them to go to a good home. Um, and like I said before, I am going to be moving so I don't want to be carting all those paintings. I will likely donate them um, and just give them away. Because I want to keep doing this. I want to keep creating these um, and I'm, I'm really fortunate now that I can, you know, I can afford to do it and I can afford to give them away. But even when I couldn't afford to give them away, I still did. <laughs> That's just me. A little bit of this gorgeous, gorgeous violet right in there. I'm going to stir that. And some of this absolute gorgeous um, turquoise green. You're putting in about 10%. I'm putting in a little bit extra just because I'm a daredevil and I know that it'll work and some of this gorgeous blue shimmery midnight blue I will call it 
I got them in there. I wanted to use um, a little bit of white, actually quite a bit of white, and some some gold, just a tiny bit of gold. If I can grab. I've got everything handy here so that I can um, just go for it. So some of that gold. Oh, try not to put too much in there. This is molten gold. Absolutely amazing. It's great. Gives really, really awesome effects. So in with the gold. And that's it. And I've got some white which will go in a bigger cup. Like this one here. I love these um, coffee cups because they're so flexible. Easy to to pour into. So do I need any? Always leave a little bit of resin for, for later. You never know when you're going to need to touch something up or add more color. So I'm just going to mix this now. So what I was going to do is talking about selling paintings and things like that. So why don't you make me an offer? Watch this and then at the end of the video maybe you can make me an offer of what you would like to pay for this painting. How about that? I might start it off. So I might start start with um, $20. How's that? That's um, pretty much that covers the cost of the board and things. So 20 bucks start off. Let's have a bit of fun. You know, don't feel obligated. You have to, you know, because some people I think they feel that they have to because they've been following me for so long, and then they think, oh, I have to do it. You know, show support. You don't have to. It's all good. Because if I don't, if I don't sell them, that's that's fine. I'm still gonna donate them. There's plenty of people who want paintings, um, and who need paintings, or just it's a nice. They make a nice gift, they really do. And Christmas is coming soon, so there you go. So I'm not one of those people that ask for <laughs> donations. I don't really believe in that. Like even when I was really, really struggling, I never asked for money for supplies. I never asked for people to, to you know, put money in my PayPal account just to support me so that I can keep doing this. I've never done that. And... Um, I never will because if I can't afford to do this then you know I'm just going to come up with ways to do it I'll even go out in the bush and then make some paint <laughs> find some old rocks and you know the Aborigines um, that's how they used to do it and the old um, you know people from way back and they used to paint all kinds of things in caves and things so I would do the same I'll never ask for for any handouts but that's just me you know I'm not kind of judging anybody who does that but for me I just I just could not do it and I know that um, a few people will get cranky at me for saying that and some people will agree with me and it is what it is I guess um I have too much pride for that. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So this is quite transparent now. And this one is quite transparent as well. And I'm going to add a little bit more to it. Oh, my left shoulder is really sore. And it has been for quite a while. I couldn't even lift my arm then. Goodness gracious. I wonder what I've done to myself. So I want to make this one a little bit deeper. Owie. Gonna scrape it on that one here, and then give it a good stir again. Get it off the off the stick, so I don't have that unmixed stuff. And now um, some of my white. I'm gonna need a bigger stick for that, which I have right here. A bit of a swirl and it goes so I'm just seeing if that's 10% definitely not I can put more in there sometimes um, if you want to be real accurate you can I just eyeball everything but you can you know get the scale out and uh, weigh it 
just weigh your resin first, like so, in the cup, and then add your your paste and and then Bob's your uncle. You know, that's that's how you can do it if you want to be super accurate. But I usually go less or more depending on how um, how I want it to how thick I want it really. Okay, so what I was thinking of doing is I'm going to have a bit of fun here and just um, just kind of layer these paints one in into the other and maybe do a bit of movement after. So I just um, not sure exactly what I'm going to do. But we'll see. It should turn out really cool. Really cool. Might start with the white actually. Let's get these out of the way. Put them on my right hand side so I can get better access. Ah, sorry. I'm making a bit of noise because I'm my shoulder sore. Fuck on me. God knows what I've done to it. Alright, I'm going to add a little bit more of the clear to my white. It feels a little bit thick. And just give it a a little swirly and let's start in the center I'm a kind of a centered kind of gal and it'll probably move so I'll put a little bit in there and then I might go with um, oh I'll go with this gorgeous turquoise so we're just going to watch it move nicely some gold tiny little bit oh it's hard to do a tiny little bit isn't it and then some of this shimmery blue midnight blue it's very transparent and of course if you have a darker board the colors will look different oh my goodness that looks so good even like people don't like transparent um pigments um i love them because mixed in with the with the opaque ones it just looks so amazing I'm going to zoom that in so you can see just that in with a white I could probably just go like this very carefully and open that up because a white is it's an opaque so it's quite heavy it'll fall in and push all that stuff out and I purposely didn't put any clear around here um, because I want this stuff to move but I might just put a little bit just around just just to help that white underneath there because it's struggling this is something newbies can do so, and there's so many different outcomes you know you'll see there's none you know there's so many different things different ways that uh, this painting can uh, end up looking like so okay so I could you know you can mix some more different colors and do different things but here we go I'm gonna go in with this gorgeous thing which is also quite transparent see how I moved it beautifully wow if you could only see that I'm just gonna torch it just a wee bit I'm running out of um, fuel in this one. Okay. It's alright, I've got a big torch. No white. Um, go in with this gorgeous turquoise. And I might actually go in with just a little bit of that gold bit of that blue now to open that gold up a bit and give it a nice ring uh, where's my stick for this one? Oh no, oh no, oh here it is try not to drip um, wow I'm just loving that blue I absolutely love it so I'm going to go around with the white. I'm just going to go around. Like this. But I'm sorry my hand gets in the way. I'm 
give it a little bit more movement and then I'm going to go in with the white open up that blue look at that look at that perfect geode you got the shimmer you got the gold that's perfect so I'm just going to move away now so that I can zoom that in when I'm editing I have to I have to do everything the old-fashioned way because I don't have any fancy equipment for editing. I just use my phone and um, ooh, in, in, in. I use my phone and then I just use my editing on my phone, and that's how I do it. A bit more of this. Open it up nicely. Might go with the. Actually, I might do the gold inside this one now. The gold, you only literally need a drop, a couple of drops. It is a super, super pigmented um, metallic. Now, with this amazing turquoise green, open it up beautifully. Look at that. It's just doing its own thing and doing it really, really well. In with that blue, I think I want to leave some of this blue for, for, for the end because it just because it's it's so shimmery and so transparent. It just it's like a little blue planet in there. That's what it looks like. It's just uh, cool, really cool. Okay. Maybe just a little bit of stretching. Tiny little bit. What I'm going to do is, I've got, okay, I'm going to keep that. Sorry, just thinking out loud here. Don't mind me. Um, purple or violet so that is another transparent over that transparent and it is just so thin it just beautifully stretches this and that oh the just the the kind of trans uh, transformation from one color to the other it just you, you've got this purple this blue and then this green and then the gold is just my goodness okay cool bit more torching helps to loosen up the the resin and also pops the bubbles which is what we want see when I add that extra it helps it move that way now just assisting it a little bit, giving it a little bit of uh, help. Just going to put a little drop of white in there. That will really help create some cells and stuff if I choose to to um, give it some some heat with a with a and some movement. Okay, but I'm going to go with the gold into that white little drop two drops then I'm gonna go with this gorgeous blue again got to have a bit of a steady hand here try and get it right in the middle and then let it go it's just pushing and I don't know if you can see all that well but once again I will zoom you in so you can see that in fact I can bring it up to you a little bit closer Okay, see that action? Um, go in a bit more. Looks pretty amazing. Um, cleaning my hands a little bit. I do have a little drop there. I might actually wipe that. I 
get excited when I, pardon me, start um, creating things like this. I'm going to add a little bit more white under the edges. Just helps the movement. And uh, because it's so heavy, it's kind of falling down and uh, the, the transparent colors are, are rolling over the top of it. So I'm adding a little bit of assistance here. And I'm sorry if it's a bit slow for some people, but you know, hit that uh, fast forward button. You don't have to listen to my dribble. Um, but there are a lot of people who like to listen. Um, and sometimes it can be relaxing for some people. I know this is relaxing for me and I kind of uh, share that energy with all of you. Okay. Right, I might just turn it around that way now. Wow, beautiful. Right, let's go with um, more of this gorgeous turquoise. I absolutely love this color because it, it kind of changes. It's very, very... um. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Iridescent, like. Okay. Again, a little bit of gold. Maybe a little bit more gold now. A bit extra. Then we're going to go in with this blue again. And open it up. Look at that movement. It's just, it's so relaxing just watching it so gently and gracefully move and kind of, they're not merging, they are contained within each, each, each um, circle. Oh, look at these little cells here. I'll have to bring it up because I don't think I can zoom it in that far. Um, let me point my finger so I don't lose it. See them? just popped up all by themselves give it a torch again every time you put heat on this the gold it just seemed to ha get into this um, some sort of a reaction and you get these specks of gold all of a sudden um, pop up and give it extra shine. Let's go with some more of this. Sometimes, you know, you you have to let the the artwork work. If that makes any sense, you know, um, it's 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 really easy to just pour and and hope for the best. And I've done it. And I still do it sometimes, but um, sometimes just gotta let let it um, create itself, let it happen, and you you get you know up to an hour with with resin, so there's plenty of time, plenty of time really. Don't ever panic about about not having enough time. I might just give it a little tilt. And I don't even know if I want to do anything kind of drastic with it. I could kind of just like it as it is. Um, some of this purple. Quite a bit. Right in there. And that sits in there beautifully. And then just to little drop of the gold and some of this gorgeous turquoise green open it up and some of the actually might just separate the green from the blue a little bit, just a little drop of gold. 
and get the blue in there right in there and see how that opens it up look at that look at that I'm going to bring it closer again see beautifully and elegantly just moving opening up I'm so excited about this don't stuff it up whatever you do and um, need a little bit of movement here so I'll just add actually maybe some clear help it move now if you decide that you want to do this over a clear base of wet resin it will move much much faster I like a nice slow movement okay that was just there see it's already moved it with the clear you can see that it, it kind of merges too fast and with the white it um, takes a little extra time so it just gives it enough I think this video would be good like sped up I might uh, try and do that I'll do two one with the talking and one with the you know just a speedy one right so now that I've done that I don't think I want to put any more white in the middle I think it just looks great just like that so I'm just using the whites to to do these the edges little bit of stretching you see it's moving very slowly I'm trying to not muck up the the rings I don't care if they're not perfect perfectly round but I just don't want them merging too much and it's going great at the moment they've gone great guns woohoo now now let's do uh, more separation and you don't have to, like I'm just doing this because I like the gold rings around it. And then I'm going to go in with this and watch this. How it moves it beautifully. Perfect ring. Look at that. And that's because the gold is heavy. Much heavier than the violet. Because it's thicker. And then when I put this violet, it kind of sits on top and just spreads it around. I love that. The depth in that is just unbelievable. Right. Okay. Let's keep going. Um, yep. A little bit more of the green in there it does the same thing spreads it and of course the more you put in the more it'll, it'll spread i'm going to go in with the gold again it's a little drop and then go in with my gorgeous blue and then i'm going to let it open up beautifully just like a like a little gem in there it's just so gorgeous right I've got a lot of gold I'm gonna leave some gold for around the edges I think um, I don't want to have too much gold in there so okay let's go in with the purple so it's, it's nearly time to to wrap it up Tiny, 
drop a gold in there again. And then, actually, some of the green. Quite a bit of that green in there. And you've got to do it slowly because you've got to give it time to move. I'm just helping that a little bit, moving that ring over this way. Better. So you've got to give it time to move. And then I'm going to go in with the blue, which is going to open up that turquoise green. Oh my goodness, look at that. And see how that's all gone a different shape it's really cool I like it I'm gonna get all this uh, white and pour it around there just got to try and not muck up the middle so I'll use my right hand <laughs> to be sure to be sure as they say in Ireland go all the way around And that is it. That's all the white gone. Oh, you bugger. Look what I did. There you go. I'm overconfident here. Never mind. It's all going to move anyway. So once I put this white there, it's going to give it that uh, um, platform where it can just move easily. And let's go ahead with the violet. Should I put it directly into? No, I'll get a little bit of gold just to separate it a bit. Maybe a little bit more gold this time. And in with the violet. I'm going to put the whole thing in there. Oops, I don't even know if you can see. Probably the wrong angle for this kind of work. I do apologize. I think I'll do it differently next time. And some more of this green. Oops, now I've done it again. Get all of it in there. What I'm doing is I'm just trying to fix the circle. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous green. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we're going to go in with a tiny little bit of gold. Actually, no gold. I'm just going to put in the rest of this blue in there. And it's going to open it up and merge with that green beautifully. wanted to put some gold all the way around but what I want to do is just help this a little bit help this white so I'm just going to go around and oh it's getting quite thick I think maybe I put much more than 10% in that cup but it's all good So that's all I'm doing, just going around and dabbing. 
that's going to create some movement and then I'm just going to put that gold around and maybe I'll just even do a little bit of tilting not sure yet we'll see I might um, use a little bit of the heat gun with it just to um, to open up these the rings a little bit in I go with the gold so here we go this is going to be fun here we go I'm not going not doing anything uniformed just following this line really and that will spread as well well can't really see what I'm doing here so that's quite a bit of gold there I know but Maybe I can go, if I can scrape up a little bit of this green. Oh, hang on a minute. I've got some clear resin left. I might just um, get some of this green because I love it so much. I might actually get some of this green in there. And then that will be it. Um, 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 um. Clean, clean stick always get a clean stick that's about 10 percent pick it up from the side i think i might need a little bit of gold in here just to separate those two that's all right i've got some left in there will be just enough. Alrighty, so here we go. Might have to stand up off my bum. And just go. Actually, that's looking good. It's moving. So that that there actually looks quite pretty. Okay, let's go a little bit of it. If I can try and do a little bit, it'd be great. left hand is so unco that there is gorgeous so what I'm going to do is just going to pull this over like that pull it over like so and yeah there's quite a bit there I'm just going to put the rest of that in, in the middle just so I don't waste any so I could have done with a little bit less resin but um, I'm, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. And yes, that's what I was going to do. Get a little bit of this gold and just do a couple of rings just in the middle if I can. Oh, this is not easy to do now. Okay. And what you can do is you can get a little stick and just pull lines to make it look really, really interesting. But what I will do is I will get my heat gun and just give it a little bit of um, um, heat. Love the edges. That white just creates things without any anything extra done to it. I've got a little bit of white left. I was thinking of putting some in the middle just to just to never mind. Never mind. I don't want to wreck it now. It looks too cool. Okay, heat gun, low speed first.
you can get some gems and put them in the middle or on the, on the sides or you can get I love that good um, or some really nice glitter ultra fine glitter what I will do is I am going to add a little bit of this white in here don't kill me but I think it needs something there just to kind of wake it up a little bit maybe a little bit in the middle just like that and um, give it give it something need something there a bit of gold in with the white the gold and white go really well as well and now I'm gonna um, just uh, give it a little bit of heat I'm going to do is just pull lines that drip just wasn't cool that's just me improvising that will it'll do stuff like here it's all happening already so I am quite pleased with that and the drips are bloody beautiful um so just gonna turn around this way a little bit now I keep turning them wow 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 if you could just see what's going on in there just oh my god it is amazing just gonna pull that one a bit again improvising again edge of this white just looks not nice so I've got to add some more of my friend over here to fix it I like that because it looks like that white's just swooshing over the top of it fixing that part in this part here but oh my god there's so much stuff going on underneath that you wouldn't believe it but I will show you, so you'll have to believe me. Gonna let that do its thing. Maybe a little bit more of this blue. Gorgeous shimmery blue. And I will add some more gold. Because I think gold just um, breaks it up a little bit. So I'm just adding a tiny bit of some resin that I had left over, which was like three, four drops. Okay, that's definitely um, fixing it up. That white there was a mistake. I was a little bit heavy-handed with it and uh, learn from it I certainly have that's really nice in, in the middle there but try and create a little kind of uh, something here like that So that toned it down a bit, which is great. And yeah, let's get the torch. And that's absolutely amazing absolutely amazing and uh, I'll bring you down and show you it now 
and then I will let it sit. I just have to watch it and then I'll show you that what it will look like when it's um, all set up. Okay, you, you, you're so not getting the colors. It just looks way too dull here. I'm trying this way, but just, just look at this. That is just something else. That gold. And those pearls and those shimmeries it just um, looks amazing together. There you go. Hope you enjoyed it. So easy, so simple, and so many things happening right here. Hmm. Well, thanks for watching and make me an offer. Bye for now. Okay, so here we go. After a little bit of stretching, this is what I got. Some really subtle areas, some beautiful pastels there. And of course the color's not picking up right, but um, should we look at that green? Gosh, and that blue beautiful. Alrighty, so there it is.